What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to kill Bermuda in your lawn without no chemical. Section of my lawn, uh, deliberately let this lawn went uh, dormant back here for a reason, because I was trying to identify the Bermuda where exactly they are strategically so that I can get rid of them. So if you look at the lawn right now, the lawn is gone dormant in some areas and our temperature has been up in the 90s. Today was about 96, 95 degrees. So Bermuda loves the heat. They love it. When it's hot like this, it doesn't, it, it comes out, it start growing rapidly. Unlike fescue, as you can see, it goes dormant because it's too hot. It's extremely hot and fescue can't handle it. So anyways, uh, by just looking at the lawn, you can see that the Bermuda is growing right here on this section all the way to this section right here and and i have it more on this section than anywhere else so it's growing rapidly which i really like because then i i kind of identify where the bermuda is and uh, on this side not so much I, I don't think this is even this, this is fescue and for whatever reason this area of my lawn is still green and I have no trees here, I have no shade, so when it's extremely hot. But uh, for some reason, you know, I have fescue in certain areas of the lawn. So I know for a fact that I don't have Bermuda on this section of the lawn based on what I have observed, okay? The only area where I really have Bermuda is this section right here. And you can tell the difference because this is kind of like lime green. If you look at this section, it's dark green. So you can tell. And also the leaf blades are different, all right? So if you look at right here, you can see the Bermuda. This is a wild Bermuda, by the way. And the grass blade is, is different, okay? Looks like. So all I'm using is this cardboard right here. A few bricks that I bought from Home Depot. So just that. That's all you need to get rid of this Bermuda. So I have my cardboard right here and I'm gonna cut it and cover this area right here and any other areas that I see where the Bermuda is. And what that does is it blocks, it blocks the Bermuda from having any sunlight. And you know, with, uh, with the Bermuda loves the sun and the heat. So by me blocking the, the sunlight from the Bermuda getting it, it's gonna kill it eventually. And you know, this process will take about six weeks. So once I put this down, I'm not gonna move the cardboard at all. It will stay on here for about six weeks. And then uh, we'll, we'll come back and take it off and see if it actually worked or not. But I know for a fact that it will work because by us blocking out the sunlight from the Bermuda, getting any sunlight, it's gonna eventually kill it because no oxygen, no photosynthesis going on, and it will block it from, you know, growing and eventually. Hey guys, so as you can see, this is how you set it up. Now I still have some other areas that I need to add some more cardboard so that I can uh, I can do the same process. So I'll have to get some more cardboards. But uh, by you doing this process, there's a downfall to it. And that is uh, most of the fescues that are under this cardboard are not gonna make it because the same thing, if, if you're killing the Bermuda like this, then you'll be killing your fescue as well, which I'm okay to live with because Come fall, I will just overseed heavily on this side and it will thicken up and I don't have to deal with the Bermuda here. So I'll see you guys in six weeks and then we'll take a look at what we have underneath this cardboard. Right, guys, I had said that we'll wait six weeks and then uh, revisit this area right here. But this is week five and as you can see, the Bermuda has taken over. I mean, this idea of putting this cardboard down was a great idea, but the uh, problem here is that I didn't have enough rocks to put on top of the cardboard. So as you can see, the Bermuda 
pushed itself way through the cardboard and this is what we have so in my opinion i didn't do this properly and so this is the end result of us of what I got because I didn't have enough rocks to suppress the, the, the Bermuda enough. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take the cardboard off and then we're gonna see, you know, what we have. Did any of the Bermuda died off underneath there where uh, the cardboard is covered up or it didn't? So let's, let's figure it out right now. I'm gonna take this off right now and we'll figure it out. So guys, what we have here is a discoloration of this Bermuda, nothing really happened we had rain and you know that's why it's a little damp but from the looks of it i don't think it really did anything the discoloration is from the chlorophyll that the plant wasn't getting but other than that this looks still looks live to me you know so my plan did not work it did not work just for the simple fact that i did not structure this properly and so this is what we so what i have here is a one gallon sprayer and what I'm going to be using to kind of suppress this Bermuda will be fusillate okay it's fusillate 2 and uh, triclop here okay and then a little bit of surfactant I mean uh, what's this yeah non-ionic surfactant okay I'm going to use that so that this can help it help stick to the, help the product to stick to the leaf of the, the Bermuda and you know and it helps it work effectively. So I'm gonna be using a non-ionic surfactant and a little bit of uh, dye so that I know where I'm spraying. So if you have any kind of broadleaf weeds, like what you see here, you can still use this mixture and just you know spray it and be done with it so i'm going to go around the yard i'm going to go around the yard and i'm going to see wherever i have weeds i'm going to spray the rest of the solution and then we'll check a week from today to see the results from where i have already you know where i've sprayed all this solution and we'll see how the Bermuda does after a week so stay tuned all right guys so it's been about a week now and it looks like some of the Bermuda I don't know if they're dead or suppressed but the ones that are a little bit greener like these right here you can see that it's a little bit stunt it's, it's the color is changing a little bit so that's what I've noticed with the uh, the other Bermuda the areas that have the Bermuda they all have a little bit of discoloration and I will probably do a second application today you know and then see again what happens uh, after a week but the area where I have put the cardboard as you can see it looks like some of these are dead some of these Bermuda are dead but for an area like this one right here I don't think it's completely dead this is the thing about Bermuda it, it's so difficult to to kill it so even though this whole area is brown right here if you look at the top right here you see it's, it's still green so yes it looks brown but I'm not really convinced that it's a hundred percent dead so I will do another I'll do a second application today just to make sure that you know this thing is completely gone now moving forward I will be doing this every year for the next two years at least and make sure that you know this thing is completely suppressed I do not want to do, use glyphosate you know to kill the whole entire lawn it's something I've been thinking about but if this method works then you know I'm gonna go with this method just to save the old Bermuda I mean the old fescue that I have and this lawn you know I do not want to start all over so that's my plan moving forward and I uh, see this area again it's a little bit yellowish I'm not sure if that means I, I mean it's working a little bit but you know it's not completely dead it's just turning a little bit yellowish here if you look right there also so I'm gonna do a second application definitely and we'll see what happens. I remember guys, I did spread a little bit of the uh, fusillade and triclope here 
on this plant and uh, this is the end result of it completely toast so guys what do you think about this let me know in the description below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video